myself dr bhausaib gurpade from department of zoology sri ananda college pathardi district ahmednagar maharashtra i have made this video using obs and edited with open shot it is a part of my assignment in faculty development program organized by ramanujan college delhi the topic of my presentation is big modification in birds now everybody among us knows that birds are masters of air now these are the some very beautiful pictures of the different type of the birds these birds shows different modifications in the beak beak is nothing but a modification of the upper and lower jaw bones it becomes a beak and it is modified according to the food and feeding mechanism in the bird there are different types of the beaks in the birds they are nothing but seed eating beak it is a very common type of the beak modification examples are sparrows finches and cardinals this type of the beak is a short stout pig like and conical beaks it is observed in the granivorous or seed eating birds its example i have mentioned that there are nothing but sparrows finches and cardinals the weaker beaks are used for piercing up small seeds while more powerful beaks are meant for crushing large and hard shell seeds and fruit stones the cutting beak its example is a common bird everybody among us is familiar with that that is the crow this bird possesses a long sharp and slender beak with cutting edges which can be used in various ways now next type of the beak it is nothing but the fruit eating beak its example is parrots and hornbills we know very well them parrots as well as the hornbills in parrot the beak is short massive deeply hooked and extremely strong it is well adapted for growing or breaking open hard seeds and nuts which form their staple diet in hornbills the beak is very strong heavy and cucumbersome it is really quite light as interior is of a cellular structure it is suggested that these cells acts as resonators thus enabling the bird to produce its exceptionally loud cry now this slide shows the beak that is the insectivorous beak examples of this type of beak is nothing but swifts then hoopoe robin etc in the swifts and swallows the beak is small wide and delicate to scoop up their living insect prey while on wing in fly catchers the beak is short but strong with mandibles notched at the tip and beset with numerous rectal bristles at the base in hoopoe and robin the beak is long slender and slightly curved and meant for turning the leaves or probing into the soil for insect grubs and pupae wood chiseling beak woodpecker is example of wood chiseling type of beak in this bird they have elongated straight and stout chisel like beaks for drilling into the barks or wood for insect larvae or for nest construction 
they have thickened shock absorbent skull bones and strong neck muscles to make such pounding feasible tearing and piercing beak particularly the carnivorous birds are the examples of tearing and piercing type of the beak these birds feed on the carrion and the flesh material examples are nothing but vultures hawks eagles owls and kites they have a very strong short pointed sharp edged and powerful hooked beaks for tearing the flesh and operated by well developed mandibular muscles these are the some pictures of the tearing and piercing beak examples now these are the pictures of the scavengers birds that is the which feed on the dead and decayed animals examples are different types of the vultures they are called as the cleaners of the earth they are having a very strong beak fish catching beak herons kingfisher and storks are the example of fish catching type of the beak these birds have a long powerful and sharply pointed spearing beaks to capture fishes frogs tadpoles and other material feeding material from the aquatic animals cormorants have a long and narrow beaks the edges of which are armed with sharp backwardly directed teeth like processes meant for capture of fish in charters these serrations take the form of fine needle like points now these are the some pictures of the fish catching beak example is nothing but pelican then mud probing beak familiar examples of this type of the beak are snipe stilt and piper jacana etc their beaks are extremely long and slender and are used as a probe for thrusting far down into water and mud in search of worms and larvae some of these birds are remarkable for the slenderness and extreme length of their beaks this is the last slide water and mud straining beak examples are duck geese and flamingos now we are familiar with the duck geese and flamingos the spatulate type of the beak it is something different than the other type of the beak example is the spoonbill it possesses a very specialized form of beak it is flattened throughout its length but terminates in a broad spatulate or spoon like expansion meant for dabbling in water and mud in search of insects worms fish mollusks and other small animals upon which the bird feeds the pouch beak example is a pelicans and flower probing beak example is hummingbird okay thank you